Jane? We're actually not moving today because my husband just came back from the dead. I'm here. Are you this a is you? True. It's true, I am. It's oh real. My God, Except it's you don't know, though, if it's actually Michael. We're in for some big surprises with Jane the Virgin. And while Michael may have returned from the dead, Gina Rodriguez assures us that the cast is keeping their bond alive. When he walked into the table room, was it just like a ghost? What was that experience like for you? I was definitely pale. I didn't see sun for a while. He did it. He did it. He's a method actor. It felt like... Um, my heart sank because he's one of my best friends in real life. We had a little warning beforehand. Uh, we all had a sneaking suspicion that he was coming back. Michael's alive? I would say Michael is back, exactly. Uh, but the good thing is the good thing is the fans, are, that story thing is going to get resolved the first two minutes of the first episode of season five. So that's good. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be like a cliffhanger that that will hang forever. We make a really good team. Raphael had everything he had ever wanted, like in his hands, and then Michael came back. So it, it creates a big, massive conflict, and Raphael is gonna be faced with making some pretty difficult choices. How are you gonna shake things up for Jane and Raphael? That relationship was something that was solid. I mean, he's right here. Yeah, how, how are you, are you gonna, gonna? How are you gonna well, shake I'll tell you, I'm gonna up. shake it up. How are you gonna, gonna shake, shake it, it up, dude? I'm gonna shake play with everyone's feelings. I'm gonna yeah. have all the feelings in my hand, and I'm just gonna rip them apart. Wow. And I'm so excited to just tear <laughs> shit up. Yeah. I'm gonna rip it, and everyone's gonna cry. He's and super soft. soft and gentle. He's not gonna do that. No, at no, all. no, no, no. It's, not it's gonna, gonna make whatsoever. people. No, not at all. But um, thanks for getting my back yeah, here, because that could have been bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> hey, you okay? You know me so well. Who are you rooting for? Now we have this love triangle. Like, as you very well know, and and real fans know that. People get confused. They think that there's love stories between Rafael and Jane or Michael and Jane. When in reality, the love story is between Rogelio and Michael. Exactly. So now that Michael is back, finally, fine. Michael is back, finally, the real love story of the show can evolve. You're gonna think it's because I don't think you should marry Rafael, which is true, but that's not why I'm reminding you. As Jane's mom, Zoe, who does she want her daughter to end up with? I've always been and I remain team Michael. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, as a mom, you know, you would want a guy who is stuck with your daughter through thick and thin and um, really <laughs> terrible, really knows what it is to earn money. <laughs> That's so terrible to say. You know, he's he's a he's a, a worker. A worker. Yeah, you know, but I mean nothing against Rafael slash Justin because I love Justin in real life. I am Rogelio de la Vega. Rogelio de la Vega. Rogelio de la Vega. Nothing? But with the new dynamic of Michael having amnesia, does that change things for you? It definitely has I have new lenses for for the Raphael character for sure and he's definitely won my heart Zoe's heart much more than it was maybe in the first three seasons so it's hard to say I mean they're both great guys Jane's very a very lucky lady you're going to be surprised and um, it's going to Jane is going to have a happy ending nobody knows what that ending is gonna look like well fans get the closure that we deserve though yes yes yeah. Right? Yeah, right. Okay, right. Ready? Yes. With you two? Yes. yes.